Anyway, uh, moving on to more breaking news. The deeper the intel, the more the news breaks. <laughs> Jeez, dude, here we go. We can't. St- I can't stop now. You know, I'm starting to get some comments on my channel. They were like, "What well, you guys ever get st- deep intel?" I'm like, nothing. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> It is. <laughs> it's just funny. That's it all. It is funny. It's was funny. there a shallow intel? What are the various levels, levels of, of intel? Of intel? Yeah. yeah. Usually it's, if it's deeper than probably normal intel, then you're probably going to jail. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it's really probably not deep intel because that's where the jail you know, unless you yeah. store it in, in a, I remember a getting out of the actual deep Intel briefs and I was thinking, and I would think that's I know less crap. now than when I went in here. I've gotten <laughs> stupid. <laughs> what, what the hell? <laughs> All right. So, uh, this is from a tweet. So it's official Intel, uh, U S central command, Iranian. So it's not really that breaking cause this happened December 31st. So yesterday, um, so we're kind of, we're off. We're not even in the, we're just normal Intel now on December 31st at 6 30 AM Sanaa time, Sana time, Sana mm. container ship Mersk, uh, Hangzhou issued a second distress call in less than 24 hours reporting being under attack by four Iranian backed Houthi small boats. The small boats originating from Houthi controlled areas in Yemen fired crew served and small arms weapons at the Mersk Hangzhou getting to within 20 meters of the vessel and attempted to board the vessel. A contract embarked security team uh, on that ship returned fire. U.S. helicopters from the USS Eisenhower and Gravely responded to the distress call and in the process of issuing verbal calls to the small boats, the small boats then fired upon the U.S. helicopters with crew served weapons and small arms. The U.S. Navy helicopters returned fire in self-defense, sinking three of the four small boats and killing the crews. The four boat fled the, the fourth boat fled the area. There was no damage to U.S. personnel or equipment. I believe they call that "f around and find out." <laughs> so, Poke the bear, <clears throat> see what happens. <laughs> they found out yeah. what happens when you do these things. Yeah, um, yeah. That's. I mean, that's a uh, that's a really um unique scenario for those navy helos because i mean <clears throat> how often do they do they get to actually engage the enemy you know well and so it's an escalation in the area um you know a lot of the twitter intel sources now think that this is going to escalate to a an actual regional conflict where they go after the houthi forces in yemen but you know do you have to op- keep the shipping lanes open? I mean, this is commerce, you know. Um, one thing that was funny, which I've seen now on the the Twitter slash X sphere, is that now you have the victimhood. They're like, well, they killed all those, you know, the Houthis. And it's like, okay, because the, their argument is they killed them, that the Houthis were non non lethal, that they were just trying to to shoo the ships away, just to get them out of out of the area. It's like, well, you you shot with real bullets and crew serve weapons, and then you turned around and you shot at American forces. What did you think was going to happen? Right. <clears throat> exactly, man. I mean, I, I, <laughs> you shot at you know U.S. military um, uh, assets. <laughs> Probably, you know, they're going to shoot back, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I I mean. I don't know all the, de- you know, no, you and I don't know all the details of, you know, both sides arguments, but like you said, man, you got to keep the shipping lanes open. And if you're going to, if you're, you know, if you're going to shoot at somebody prepared to get shot, shot at back. Yeah. You know I mean? I, I don't, yeah. Self-defense, right? I mean, I, in well, our that's exactly army, what it is. I mean, it's international waters. I mean, you've got a lot of experience with international waters. Yeah. What's the, what's the ROE? Yeah. It's if it, like you can absolutely defend yourself. Well, and this comes on the heels of an unprecedented amount of shoot downs of drones, uh, right. anti ship ballistic missiles, uh, cruise missiles, all kinds of 
uh, yeah. attacks on actual direct attacks on U.S. ships, not just well, this. But <clears throat> well, you're right. I mean, unfortunately, it is escalatory. Um, that's not really what we want to see. But you know, I, for whatever reason, they just keep. I mean, if you know, if they don't stop. I mean, at some point, probably something needs to happen. I mean, I don't know how long can they just sit there and just throw, you know, throw drones at aircraft carriers and, you know, whatever vessels out there that they're like, eh, we'll just see what happens. You know, I mean, I, t- to me, it def- I mean, based on the, the intel we have, it definitely seems like, uh, you know, they're yeah. the instigators, but. Well, and, and that's, that, I've got, we've got a, a troll here in the comments that's, that's saying that it, the shipping lanes are open, just not for, uh, the ones that service Israel. So you see the the well, thing, and you can't <laughs> you can't make that distinction, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and if you, st- I mean, that's the thing. Once you start shooting, it does not matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. <clears throat> like it, well, it doesn't matter. You, you, an you international can't make shipping that. lane is an international shipping lane, right? Not just everybody except this one yeah. country. So it's a little send a Houthi little, boat through there. You know, I mean, I I don't know. Dude. Yeah. It's unfortunate, uh, man. Like I grew up in the Middle East, and it's just like every, even as a kid, you know, the Iran Iraq War was going on, then the Gulf War, and it's like unfortunately constant. Yeah, yeah, which is very sad. I mean, it's a lot of innocent people. 